Hi everyone and welcome back to Sprinkle with Paper. Today we're going to be using the Cricut Print and Cut feature to create these fun Friendsgiving turkey cupcake toppers. The supplies needed to create our cupcake toppers are going to be a Cricut mat, toothpicks, hot glue gun, and then bright white cardstock. So you could use any white cardstock, but my current favorite is this white matte photo cardstock. So this can be found on Amazon or at Walmart, and I find that because of the finish of the photo paper, the colors just print out a lot more vibrant than if you were to just use a standard white cardstock. Now let's jump right into Cricut Design Space where we're going to design our cupcake toppers. Now this project is going to be very simple because we're just going to use one of the pre-made designs here on Cricut Design Space. So we're going to click on images and then up here in the top toolbar, we're going to search for Friends Turkey. So the little turkey we're making today, if you are a Friends fan, then I'm sure you recognize this. This is the turkey that Monica had put on her head. It was dancing around in Chandler and Joey's apartment. So I thought that this would be perfect for a Friendsgiving celebration. So let's go ahead and just click on this first one right here and we're going to add it back onto our project page. So now that we're back on the project page, we're just going to change the operation of our design. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on operation in the top toolbar, and we're going to change it from a basic cut to a print and cut. Next, we're going to adjust the size of our cupcake toppers. So I'm going to change the width of this to 2.5 inches. I find that if you're working with a standard cupcake, not a mini cupcake, 2.5 inches is the perfect size. It's not too small and it's not too big. So there's still a few steps we need to take to get these print and cut ready, but I first just wanna show you what would happen if we clicked on make it. So now that we're here on the cut page, let's go ahead and let's adjust how many of these cupcake toppers we want to cut. So let's change this to six, or better yet, let's change this to eight. So as you can see here, now that we have the eight cupcake toppers, it's showing that we can only cut six on each page. That's the limit. Well, we know that if we have an eight and a half by 11 sheet piece of paper, you can obviously see that there's a lot of extra space here. So we want to try to use up as much of the paper as possible so we don't waste any. And when you're creating a print and cut, the largest size you can cut is a 9.25 by 6.75 inches. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back over to our project page and we're gonna create a quick template so we can try to fit as many cupcake toppers onto one single sheet as possible so we don't waste supplies. So to create our template, we're just going to simply click on shapes and we're going to select the square. Now we're just going to go up to the top and we're going to change the size to the limit for print and cut. So we're going to make the width 6.75 inches and the height 9.25. Now we just need to bring our turkey to the front of our template. So click on arrange up at the top and then click on bring to front. Now we can just duplicate this turkey as many times as possible until we completely fill the template. Now that we've completely filled the template, we can now just delete the template. We no longer need it. So now we have all of our turkeys, and to make sure that they stay in this arrangement, we're just going to highlight all of them, and we're going to click Attach. 
So now the last step for creating the print and cut is we need to turn these turkeys into single layer images. So what I mean by that is if you go over to the right hand side, you're gonna see that each of these turkeys is made up of multiple layers. And we don't want that for printing, we just want it to be one single layer. So to do that, all we need to do is simply click flatten and that can be found down in the bottom right hand corner. And now we are ready to print. Now just click make it, and before we do anything else, we just need to purchase the file. Once purchased, just hit continue. So now in this pop-up box, we're just going to locate our printer, select the number of copies we wanna make, make sure that we have bleed selected, and then we can go ahead and just print directly from here, but this is just going to print with all the settings you already have saved on your computer. So if you're putting any specialty paper in, like I'm going to be using a matte photo paper, it's not going to be set up for that type of paper, so you might not get the best quality print. So to adjust the settings, we're just going to select Use System Dialog, and then press Print. In this next pop-up window, we're going to be able to adjust the settings. So we're just going to go to Show Details, and under Media, select the type of paper you'll be using, and then make sure that the quality is set to Best. So as you can see here, it's always worth going in and adjusting your print settings. So both of these sheets were printed on matte photo paper, but for the first one, you can see that I adjusted the settings and it's printed out beautifully and the colors are nice and vibrant. And on this other one where I just printed directly from Cricut Design Space without updating anything, the colors are much more dull. Next, we're just going to attach our sheet to our Cricut mat and we're going to load it into our Cricut machine to cut. So if you find that you're not getting a clean cut on your turkeys, you might need to calibrate your Cricut machine. And this is not as scary as it sounds. It's a very simple fix. I'm going to attach right here a video I did a couple days ago showing how to fix this problem and it's only a three minute video. So within three minutes you can completely have this problem solved. And now if you didn't need to calibrate your machine and you got that perfect cut on the first try, that's amazing. The next and final step is we just need to glue our toothpicks onto the back of our turkeys with a little dab of hot glue. And there you have it, the perfect Friendsgiving cupcake toppers. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Check out that calibration video if you are having any trouble getting a clean cut. And until next time, happy Thanksgiving and happy crafting.